Hi there, thank you for joining me today. My name is Rowena and I am the designer for the Sojourner Traveler's notebooks, planners, and other leather goods. And in today's video, I am going to go over what I am using for July. If you've been following me, you'll know that I embarked on a challenge with several women who wanted to try using one uh, book for June. That was a wonderful experience and everybody agrees in the group that uh, we learned a lot of ourselves and what we like, disliked, and we just learned a lot from the experience. So that was really nice. Because of that group and because we suffered together <laughs> for a month, we decided to go ahead and do it again in July. But this time we are calling it Sojo Multi Books July. We're not gonna be bound by just using one book. We are going to use whatever books we wanna use. Some of them will continue just using one. However, for some of us that have been using certain books throughout the year, we decided we're gonna either go back to them or try something new. Let's go ahead and get started. So I am going to be using this a6 Hobonichi, which is the Techo, and I have been in this book for the whole year actually, and it is basically my daily musings that I write in here. This is the leather that is named after my very first grandchild. It's called Ember, that's with an E, and yeah, so this is coming back um, on rotation, and I'm so happy to welcome her back. So my other book that I started probably, I think, around May is this A5 Cousin by Hobonichi. It is my deep soul musings book. And basically it is where I pour my heart out. I write prayers in here. I write letters to God and things like that. It's a place where I go when I need to basically sort through things and gain clarity. And along the way, I also will put in ephemera because a lot of the things that I collect fits in a bigger format rather than this small A6. I do, however, put some in here too, especially stickers that I collect from new coffee shops that I go to or visit. And so, yeah, I use this in conjunction um, with each other plus I actually was using the weeks and this week's was my planner and I really love this planner and I've had one of these weeks since I think 2016 and I've only one time did not have one of these uh, in rotation and so anyway this is going to stay back it is something that I'm going to end up uh, backfilling but it's going to stay back for July just because I am going to try a different planner this month. And so without further ado, I am going to go ahead and tell you a little bit about the planner that I'm going to be using. So first of all, you guys may be familiar with Sam Kelly, which is Sam Plans um, on Instagram as well as in YouTube. And she's been a Instagram friend for a very long time since the very beginning and I love her videos. You guys should, if you are not familiar with her, definitely go check her out. She does some reviews and she also does plans with me as well. She's one of those that is a great inspiration here on YouTube and as well as on Instagram. And so anyway, we were having a conversation and I don't know how it came about, but we were talking and such, and I was telling her, before my daughters were born, I had a planner that I used a lot. And it was the only planner that I used. I think it was right out of college. So that would be in the 90s. And so anyway, I had this planner and it was a zip type planner and a ring planner. And I cannot figure out what the maker is to this day. I believe it is in Texas still. Um, when we moved in 2022, I have a studio in Texas, and so it's probably in a box somewhere. I'm, I'm hoping, because I would love to get a hold of that again. But anyway, we were talking about it, and we were just talking about journaling and uh, planning and all of that. And I was telling her about that 
planner that I had and it was, again, it was a ring planner and I remember uh, the only thing I had in there was a pen, the planner itself, um, the insert, and also a lipstick. <laughs> that was the only thing that was in there. And so anyway, all that to say, we were talking and she said, yeah, you know, I, I she's used the um, file effects one that zips and all of that. And I said, yeah, I, I know I've seen that before and I've always been kind of intrigued. And so she, DMs me and says, well, would you like to try this one? I'll send it to you. And I was just like, oh, wow, that's very generous. However, I asked her, can I pay for it if you're not going to use it in the future? Because I don't really like to borrow things. I'm very much into lending people stuff, but I have a hard time borrowing things only because I'm afraid I might ruin it. You know, a journal, the leather, the planner, all of that is very precious to many of us. And so I didn't want to ruin her um, planner case and feel being responsible for it. So I asked her if I could purchase it. And she said, oh no, no, I'm just going to give to you. And I was just like, what? <laughs> no one's ever given me anything like that before. And so I graciously accepted. <laughs> so anyway, so that is what I am going to be using to try out for July of this year. And so let me show you what that looks like. So it's this one right here. Isn't she pretty? This is actually very close to what I had and it had a strap as well. And I don't know, I looked up the different planner companies that were in existence during that time. I thought maybe I'd find a vintage one and then I could maybe identify which one I had and I cannot find it. It's really interesting. So I did find other ones, but anyway, but they don't look the same look like the same thing. So anyway, maybe when I go back to Texas in a couple of months, I will um, find it. But all that to say, I did have one very much like this. And so that's why it so intrigued me because I like things vintage. But mine was actually a little bit longer as I recall. And it was a lighter color, almost, I believe kind of like Dallas. Um, the color of one of our leathers, Dallas. By the way, Dallas is going to be out of stock soon. So if anybody's interested in Dallas, you might want to think about placing an order for Dallas sometime soon, but I digress. So anyway, this is by Filofax, okay? And so let me just go ahead and show you. It is their Malden collection. I know that they have the other one that is not real leather and I personally am more into real leather, and so that's why um, this is just really special, plus the fact that Sam gave it to me. So anyway, I, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how I've set it up for July. Now, don't be disappointed. It is very simple what I did with it. Um, I have not been in rings for, what, 20 plus years? And so, yeah, so I'm very new at it. Back then when I was in rings, they didn't have all these videos, of course, but they also didn't have all the inserts that go with the rings. And so that's why I, from what I can remember, that's why I stopped using it because I couldn't find what I wanted to put in it. And back then, you know, there aren't all these insert makers that we have today. Today, there's so many of them to choose from. It's great, or you could make your own. So, so yeah, this is the Filofax Malden in Ochre, and it's the zippered version. I believe it only comes in a personal size, but this is very much like the one I had, or hopefully still have in Texas, but um, it is lighter in color, and it's more like the color of Dallas, if you're familiar with our leather called Dallas. And so it also had, as I recall, a, a bit of a longer, it, it was a bit longer than this. And I remember that I had it and I would always um, only really just basically put a pen and the planner itself and then the lipstick up at the top. And I, I realized this is not as big or as long as that one because my lipstick doesn't really fit in here, but on the other one it did. So that's why I kind of have an idea that it's probably a little bit longer. And uh, anyway, 
So yeah, let me go ahead and show you what's in here. I don't really have much in here at all and probably don't plan to because this is mainly just a planner for me. It's not my wallet or anything. I'm not gonna be using it that way. But right now I think it's got a receipt and a dollar. Woo, I'm rich. But anyway, um, so let me show you what's in here. Okay, now keep in mind, I am very new to rings. Not that I'm new to it per se, but I'm new to it these days. We back then had rings and there weren't very many inserts for them. And I think that's one of the reasons why I stopped using the rings uh, because I couldn't find the inserts. But today there's a plethora of people making inserts. And yeah, so there's so much to choose from, it's great. So anyway, I'm gonna show you this right here. This is a expense tracker for me. And I like things vintage, if I hadn't already mentioned it earlier. And I actually purchased this here, and that's where I got it from. I purchased this from Goodwill. Um, I don't know, I just liked it, and I thought, hmm, maybe I could use it for this ring planner. And so what I've done, basically, is I've just taken, and I just cut it right here where the um, holes are, and then I just folded it over, and that was it. And here, you know, there's items. You could put your the date. You can put what it is that you spent, and then do a balance. You could put what you made or or what monies came in right over here where it says credit but um i probably won't use that column probably more the debits and the balance of my expenses that'll give me a good snapshot of what i've spent my um hard-earned money for <laughs> anyway 249 you can't beat that and I liked it because it was different and yeah, it looks vintage, right? Okay, and so, oh, by the way, the uh, hole punch um, is this one here. It's by Repesco, but yeah, um, Sam is the one who told me this was her favorite one and it, I can see why, it's very nice. It's um, very sturdy, it seems, and you can adjust this for different sizes. So I like it. Um, some people use the hand one and they just take a thicker paper that may have already the holes and then they just use that as a template. I prefer this here because it's just much quicker. I'm all about saving time. So that's that. And then here there is an inbox basically where I would put all the different things that throughout the day, if I think of something that I need to do, rather than trying to find the place where I want it in the planner, I'm just gonna put it here. And then at the end of the day, maybe um, allocate it to the different um, areas, you know, like maybe in the monthly, or maybe I need to list it in my daily page. And then this right here are book darts. And this is actually from Field Notes. We should have that on the website, but I, yeah, I think we should have it on the website because we have several of them. And then I had these postcards that I've had for a long time, and I like this one. Again, I like, I feel like it's kind of vintagey looking, right? So it kind of goes with this. I'm not really into decorating that much, to be honest, but I mean, I love seeing other people's decorated journals and planners and such, but. I just, in at this point in my life, I just don't do a lot of decorating. It's very simple is what I like. I like to be able to read what I've written. And as it is, my handwriting sometimes can get very messy and just haphazard because I'm always in a rush. And so it's easier for me when things are simple and that way I can read more of the information that I need from the planner rather than getting really lost in looking at all the little stickers and such, which I can do. So anyway, so I have a bunch of postcards and so that's why um, this is here. I used the postcard, I just punched it. Again, I cut a little bit of it to fit and then I punched the holes on it and I love that. And, um, oh, and it says of all the paths you take in life, make sure a few of them are dirt. Love it. <laughs> and then here is just a couple of pictures and of my girls and their children, my grandkids. And here I need to put more in here, but um, yeah, I need to find which pictures I wanna put in here. But as far as the postcard is concerned, I have tried this as well. We send this postcard with every purchase and 
yeah and it just basically is a thank you and so i cut that because it's i think it's really pretty and i put it in here at one point but um even though it's kind of vintagey i really didn't have a place for it and so i'm keeping that back for now and also you can also find things like this if you're fortunate enough to live in an area that has a Trader Joe's, they have these cards. They're 99 cents. I mean, you can't beat that, okay? And so with these cards, you can actually, this is from my daughter, Kayla, and uh, Piper, my uh, granddaughter, her baby. So anyway, this here is from Trader Joe's. And what I did is I cut one up because they're really pretty and you can find a theme um, by looking at their at the card section. They can have four or five with the same type of theme. Like this here, it's about tea, right? And this has says, have a terrific day. And I just cut it up. Oh my gosh, how cute is that? Even in the little corner on that backside. I cut it up. I just place something like this here and then i cut it and this could be a whole um theme of tea which of course i love tea however i probably won't cut this up since it's got some writing in there that's a uh, lovely writing for my daughter and so you can also get postcards oh but here's another one from trader joe's isn't that pretty i mean come on that's gorgeous so easy you could use those for the dividers and then something like this this is from nature like the ones I'm, I'm using right now and these here are from Target they're like in the do their dollar section I'm not sure they actually cost a dollar oh yeah it says a dollar and all these right here pretty cool Ooh. So there's that and then some inserts I do use, the ones that are from Filofax. I've not purchased any from any individuals or companies who make the different types of inserts. And one of the reasons why is because a lot of them, you have to print it yourself. And I'm really kind of not about that at this stage in my life. I don't want to print it myself. I don't want to make it myself. I just want to be able to purchase it and it's already printed and I just put it in right but also I would like them to pretty much match because I'm very visual like I said and the different fonts um, all of that even though it's very pretty it just serves to make things look crowded for me and then I can't again it's just like my sloppy writing at times then I can't read the information easily and so that's why I purchased some of these that I pre-done and then also this here are the dividers that I purchased. I don't know what these are called, this color scheme, but they have a lot of different color schemes. This is just one I chose for this season, and so that's what I have in here. I'll try to link it below if I have that information. Oh, and really quick, since we're in the pictures section, I have this Canon Ivy that I've been using for a long time. However, I stopped using it for a couple of years because I just didn't have time to print. And sometimes it's been time consuming, especially because I was trying to conserve paper and I was trying to put two in one paper. And you know, you have to have a um, an app for that and all, and it just would take so long that now when I make them, I just print them out in their actual size and then I just slap it on. One thing I wanted to say about the Canon Ivy when I was looking at these because I wasn't sure I could find this. It's been gone for a while. I read some reviews and they say that the first Canon Ivy is better than the most recent one. And fortunately for us, they still sell the first uh, version. So yeah, I don't know, look into it yourself, see what you think. It's always worked fine for me. I know it's not the best colors all the time, but you can't expect a whole lot from a small, quick producing printer. Okay, so that's what I use. So the way I have this in here is I have the different categories and it goes monthly, daily schedule, diary, tracking, and info plus pages, meaning papers. 
let me go ahead and show you my monthly. So it starts out this way. And what I've done is I put these page markers, these round ones. I got these, I believe from Daiso. So very inexpensive. So what I would do is when I flip to a divider, I would go to divider and then there's a page marker and I would just do that. And there's my schedule. And I do like a two page monthly. It's because it, it's a little bit bigger and I like seeing the whole month in, in one layout. I went and backfilled June to play with it. And so you see here, um, these washies actually show my travels. If you've seen any of my videos before, you might've seen my weeks where I show um, my travels like this. I like to see it because I like to be realistic on how much I'm really at my base and how much I'm really traveling. And my lifestyle has been since, I don't know, 2019, when my girls um, were in college and such, that we traveled a lot. Um, and it just got even busier <laughs> the last few years. And so I actually wanna be home more, to be honest. And so that's why I'm tracking it, because I wanna have a realistic view and I wanna be able to see where can I cut some of this travel out for the next month. So, and so there's July. And then we have, my next category is the daily schedule. This is a very um, important part of my planner because this is where my life is. It lives here first and then in the dailies. And so here's another one of those postcards. I have a collection of them. I have a bunch of postcards that I collect when I'm traveling. So I like this here, which is a day in one page. And what it is is here, it has the uh, time, so you can track your time. And then here is where you could write some information about what maybe what you actually did, maybe some info about, um, something that you did here. This is almost like a, a, a snippet of a diary. So it's kind of like in my weeks, let me show that to you. So in my weeks, let's see. Right here, see, I write a little snippets of what happened that day. And a lot of times I do a bullet point system. And so that's kind of what that is. And here I put what my actual um, appointments are in red. Everything is color coded, by the way, if you you didn't notice. <laughs> and then in green basically is business. And so the red is solid appointments. They're not stuff that I um, wanna do that day or should do that day. They're more solid appointments that I have to be somewhere. So I do that in the weeks, and so I'm mimicking that here. So that's generally what I would put on this side here. This is for this week. Um, as you can see, this is Monday, and then I had a list on Sunday. I started making a list of things that I need to do um, at work and then um, home stuff. And so I made that list here so that I can move this around. And see, that's what's nice about the ring planner is that I can move this around to the next day so that I don't have to flip and look for it, you know? So yeah, so it's kind of nice. And so um, that's for this week, July 1 to 7. And here are just notes of what I kind of wanted to talk about with um, on this video and I wrote it here. And so again, I can put this in the week that I'm gonna work or I'm gonna do the video. I can put that um, information there. Whereas if I did this in my planner, which I never did, um, I didn't put it in the planner because it's a lot of, you know, I, I have to look for it. Because I may start writing 
I might start doing a write up on things that I want to talk about on a particular video, but I can't move it around and I may not do it that week. You know, it may have to get moved. And so because of that, it's just harder. It just, I feel like you're, I'm flipping a lot. And so I think this actually may work out well for me. So that is what it looks like. Let me show you what an actual blank one looks like right there. See, so it's very versatile. And what's nice about this is that, let's say that after this month, this isn't quite working for me and maybe my schedule um, got lighter and I just want, um, you know, maybe the week in two pages, then I can do that. I can switch to it. It's not a big deal. I could just take these out, file them away and then keep going, you know, and that'll kind of probably fix some of y'all's need to make changes. It's an inexpensive way to make a change. I personally I like a variety of things and I like change. In my home, I have different areas in my home where I would sit and do my Bible study or I would have a cup of tea or I'll watch uh, a show or, or what have you. And those are not always the places, they're not designated specifically for though anything. You know, like I don't have a prayer chair or you know, a Bible study desk. I don't have any of that. I'm all over the house because I like variety. And that's why, yeah. And that's that kind of, with something like this is kind of nice too, because if you like variety instead of, um, you know, spending a lot of money on different covers, though I wouldn't blame you. <laughs> I love changing up different covers. However, doing the One Book June, I just have to say, I switch covers every week that just isn't for me. I can't do that. So anyway, I digress. So yeah. And so on here, you, um, this is also, uh, just another one of those pages and it is information for the studio. I stuck it here on Friday because I know that I will be FaceTiming them or, um, Alyssa on Friday. And so, yeah, and so that's why I stuck it in here and find it. So that see how nice that is. You could just put these things where you need them. You could move them around. Okay, so then here I have a place where, again, I'm probably going, I know for a fact I'm going to be in California on Monday because I have a doctor's appointment. And so because of that, I stuck my to-do list over here that, um, is information of what I need to bring to the Redland Studio and also what I need to have as far as, or what I need to do while I'm there. And so I started making a list of that here. And then I stuck it in that time frame so that I know to look for it, where to look for it. And so let's see, yeah, so that's it. So then my next one is what I just call the diary. And it's again, just a little snippet of what happens that day. And typically where I put that little snippet is in my A6. And so um, it's kind of nice that I can put it here if I wanted to, or I have my A6 back on rotation. So here I had actually purchased a, another month and two pages. I purchased this, it was very inexpensive and I wanted to try it out. I like the fact that it is on white paper and I like the fact that the diary is right behind it. However, and that's some of my back filling. However, I'm not sure I like the lineup. Oh, I know, one of the things I didn't like is that it started on Sunday. And the reason I like to start on Monday is because, and plus, yeah, I like it to start on Monday. The reason is, is because a lot of times when, when I go on trips, um, Saturday and Sunday usually, you know, are together. And I like that together there. I mean, it's such a small thing. However, yeah, it's just how my brain works. And that's what I like. And so I'm not sure if I want to keep this. I do like writing here these little snippets it's just kind of um nice like right here it's nice to do that and then it does have the two page um spread of the month so it is nice so i don't know if i'm gonna keep it we'll see i do like this too it is on cream paper which i don't mind that 
and it will make it more even. Oh, the other thing is that I like the fact that you can go to the month. With this, mm, you really can't. However, it's not that hard to put one of these so that you can, when you open it up, you know, you could just go right to that. So we'll see, we'll see how I feel about it. That's why I'm testing it. And then back here basically are things that I'm going to track. Here's another postcard. Um, I'm just starting to make a list of the things that I do wanna track in the future. I'm tracking some health stuff in here. Um, and then in the, the very last one basically is my information and pages or papers papes <laughs> papers and so basically it is where i put some information that i might need for example this is a to-do list but it's not my to-do list necessarily it's for um well i guess it is my to-do list but also my husband's so i'm writing down the things i want to research i see something and i go you know what i want to look into that i don't have time right now so i'm going to put it in here so that when i do have time i'll look it up for my husband um it says here these are the things i would like for him to do that i cannot do myself or don't want to do myself so one of the things is a cb radio installed in my jeep um an ikea desk you know, and yeah, and so that's there. And then I have listings here that I need to put in some kind of order, but it's here. Um, this is information on a prototype, a first phase of a prototype that I'm working on. And then here is just, I'm gonna start listing Sojourner information. A lot of times, I can't keep everything in my brain. And so a lot of times I will ask Alyssa, hey, can we make this with this? I just don't remember. And she has a really good memory. Um, bless her heart. She even goes to school full time now. And so, yeah, she has a great memory. And so she'll tell me, yeah, you know, and whatever it is. And that information sometimes is, I have been housing in different areas in my weeks and it gets confusing, you know, it just, yeah. So I'm gonna start listing them here so I don't have to ask again. So I'm sure that could be very irritating. And then here, oh, I just started writing down worship songs that I would like to write out in my cousin. And then back here is where I have some um, sticky notes. And here, let me show you what's here. This is a sticky note. This is one of those um, page flags. Sometimes I'll have so much stuff going on that I have to put a page flag like this right onto something that I know I need to accomplish that day, but because it's in the slew of, I don't wanna read through the whole thing because I have a bad habit of that. I will um, end up, even though it's crossed out, sometimes I end up reading through the whole thing because I don't wanna forget something. And so having something like this, it will just clue me in that that's really important, do this today. And then I have a card here with some washi. And this is a, another sticky note. Oh, and these are those um, page flags that are very handy. And I, I don't know if I mentioned, but I think I got these from Daiso. And then I just have a few stickers here because randomly, you know, when I have a minute and I'm just looking at my planner and I think, no, let me put a sticker here. It's kind of fun. And so I have some of these stickers back here. But that's about it. Um, we'll see what happens with the rings. I am liking it so far, although it's only been, what, two days. I did backfill some things, and I, I really see that there are some positive things about rings for sure. And I'm so glad that um, to have this time to be able to try it out. And I'm very thankful to Sam for gifting me this planner and I can already see that if this is something that I am going to utilize as my as a planner in the future I can already see how I will need something a little bit bigger because this as simple as what I have in here it almost is really getting to the point where it's I can't really put too many more pages and keep it um you know, flipping smoothly. And I'm about the experience of things. And so, yeah, 
I think this is about right what I have in here and I can see doing more trackers and such and so it might take up more room. So I can see if I am gonna end up um, employing a ring bound for my planner system, then I may need to invest in uh, bigger rings or maybe so general make them. <laughs> we'll start making rings. But anyway, um, nevertheless, I think this is great. This is actually something I would probably use during travels. I could relegate it for travel because during my travel, I can already see how there's a lot of things that you don't need to take with you that you can put aside and just make it very streamlined. And so, yeah, so I think this would be great for travel. Let me know if you've ever tried rings before and what you thought of it, if it's something that you might be interested in trying again. So anyway, thank you very much for hanging out. I really appreciate it. And keep on documenting life as it happens and be blessed and pass it on. Bye-bye.